Hello friends, welcome back. It is that time of year. It is time for our December meal plan. I think in years past, I have um, not planned out all my holiday food right at the very beginning of the month. But this year I decided to go ahead and do that. Um, our plans are pretty solidified and so I know exactly what I need. Um, and I'm really trying to stay on budget. So I just decided to go ahead and plan everything out. Um, <clears throat> so I've done my holiday food. I know what I would like to have. It doesn't really change all that much from year to year. But now I need to decide what we're having for dinner, um, write all the lunch items that we need. You know, something that's also a little bit different is the kids are home, you know, on Christmas break and stuff. And so we don't need quite as many like packable items. Um, <clears throat> so I need to get my grocery list together. So that's what I'm going to sit down and do. I'm going to figure all of that out. And of course, I will share with you once I get it all done. Um, I did go ahead and set up my meal planner. You can just use a notebook if you have it, but really important to plan out your meals if you're gonna grocery shop once a month and not be running back to the store a million times because <clears throat> I really hate that. So let me go show you my setup in my planner and then we will get to planning our meals. This is what my setup looks like. I <clears throat> have gone ahead and looked at the calendar and so I know that this is about how many um, dinners that we're going to need. I kind of just always do a few lunch ideas. We mostly have leftovers or um, I'll just have a couple of things that I can fix that we can, <clears throat> I don't know why the color is going in and out, sorry. I think it's because it's really cloudy outside today and it's having a hard time adjusting. Um, the only thing I write over here is whether I need special ingredients like for a recipe that I need to get. Otherwise, we just always have the same sides and the same snacks, which is like, you know, salad or broccoli or, you know, whatever. Same thing with breakfast and desserts. If it's just gonna be like something that I don't normally keep on hand, I will write that down. And then here is where I put the Christmas recipes and the New Year's, I guess I should say New Year's Eve recipes right here. And then for next month, I just like to keep a running idea right here. So if something strikes me and I wanna write it down, then I have a spot to do that. Over here is where I fill in my freezer and pantry inventory every month. Just really helpful to have it right here next to my meals. Um, and then I do a fairly good job of crossing everything off. I'm not perfect at it, but for the most part, um, I'm pretty good at marking everything off as I use it. Yeah, that really did not take very long. I had quite a few ideas saved already, which just saves me time. You know, if I 
write it down when I think of it throughout the month. It just saves me time later on. So um, I think what I'm going to do is go over our Christmas and New Year's Eve food first. Then I'll take you through all of the meals that we're going to have for dinner for December. All right, starting with Christmas. Um, I make these things called ham balls. It's um, like a ham meatball with a sauce. All my kids really like it. It goes really well with cheesy potatoes. I still have lots of freeze-dried corn. Um, I bought corn at the farmer's market this year and freeze-dried it. It's my favorite thing freeze-dried. So it tastes just like fresh corn on the cob. We will have that. We will probably have Ina um, Garden's, I think it's called Winter Slaw or something like that recipe, but it's just a really good winter salad. It's got kale um, and a really yummy like lemon vinaigrette. I will make some homemade rolls and then I have some peach pie filling frozen. Also from this summer, I'd gotten some peaches at the farmer's market. And so I made, um, some peach pie filling, so I'd like to get that used up. Then for New Year's, we're gonna have spinach dip, and I wrote cold because there's a specific cold spinach dip that I really like, so we're gonna do that with crackers. I found this recipe called Copycat Chili's Queso. If you've ever been to Chili's and had their queso, it's really good. Uh, so we're gonna try that. I'm gonna make pigs in a blanket, and I'm going to make my own crescent dough. Um, regular crescent dough we can't really have because unless they've changed it, I just haven't looked in a long time. Um, but it's manufactured on equipment that use, that has tree nuts. Um, so the potential for cross contamination is pretty high. I think it's cause they do like cinnamon rolls with nuts or something like Pillsbury or something. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to make my own crescent dough. It's not that hard and we'll do pigs in a blanket trying out this new meatball recipe. I don't like like sweet and sour meatballs, but this is more of like an Asian meatball. So that sounded good. And then I make a Fiesta Ranch dip. It's just the Fiesta Ranch seasoning packet, which I can't find here. Actually, my friend from the South mailed me a couple of them, which was very kind of her. I make a dip with it and then we just have veggies. All right, moving on to the dinners. I have a bunch of turkey and turkey broth saved. I also have a pie, uh, pie dough in the freezer, so that could be a really quick dinner. This is a new recipe, chicken rice aroni casserole. I'm gonna make my own rice aroni. It's actually pretty easy. I'll link both of these recipes below. Um, it looked good and it uses French fried onions, which this time of the year we have a ton of because I bought the giant thing at Sam's Club for, um, uh, what's it called? The holidays, holy cow. Uh, whole chicken, I like the Magnolia recipe for this one. I've got some free range chickens I bought for my friend Beth um, who homesteads and so I, I thought that would be a good use of one of those. Beef and noodles, this is also kind of a newer recipe. It's with ground beef, not shredded beef. French onion meatballs I've made before. Those are absolutely delicious. Okay, my hand was getting tired. So, uh, where'd I leave off? Um, French onion meatballs. I used my French onion soup that I canned last year and um, just thicken it up with a little bit of flour and make sort of like a gravy for the meatballs. Okay, the, De the Detroit style pizza. So very delicious. When I make it this time, I'm gonna film it so that you guys can make it if you want to. Um, I will also link the original recipe. I've made a few tweaks to it, but it's basically the same. Um, if you've ever had Jet's pizza, I don't know if that's just a West Michigan thing or if that's like a Midwest thing, I'm not sure. But Jet's is a Detroit style pizza. It's like a deep dish with like a, but like an airy dough. It's not the same as like Chicago deep dish at all. So much superior in my opinion. <laughs> Sausage lentil soup. I love lentils. I just never fix them very often because my family's not super into lentils but I think they would like this sausage lentil soup. Jambalaya, we have that quite often. Chicken consomme, 
This is a childhood recipe. It used to be my birthday dinner, what I would ask for for my birthday. Um, it's basically just like um, bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs is what I like to use. And it's like beef consomme and tomatoes and like Italian seasoning. And it stews like all day long and then you serve it over rice. It's very delicious. Mustard balsamic pork chops. I'm going to be getting a pork loin and cutting the chops myself. I like to do that because then I can like determine what thickness I want. It's also cheaper that way. Pressure cooker tacos. This makes your taco, the taco meat, like that nice crumbly meat that like Taco Bell style. So every once in a while I'll switch it up and do it in the pressure cooker like this. Frito chili pie, We I've shared that many times. It's just a really easy crock pot meal if you need a good crock pot one. Beef brisket is a new one. I This is a Pioneer Woman recipe. I'm spending quite a bit of my budget on beef brisket from Sam's Club. But I plan on, I think, cutting it into like thirds and then kind of tweaking her recipe, you know, to fit the pound of meat that I have. But also, I think her recipe calls for 10 pounds of brisket. Um, that is multiple meals for my, like multiple meals for my family. So we'll see what ends up happening, but I'm excited to try that recipe because it's just like a low and slow in your oven all day long type of meal. And I could probably even do it on my smoker outside if I really wanted to. Um, I don't like to do stuff all day long in my smoker in the winter just because it's on all day in the cold and like fighting to stay warm all day. So I'll probably do that one in the oven. All right, next is tater tot casserole. That's a family favorite. Bang bang chicken skewers. I did this recipe for the first time this month and everybody loved it. It was very delicious. The bang bang sauce that you make is like, we've like, we use the extras on everything. It was very good. I will probably double this recipe though, because all of us wish we had more. Chicken tostadas, very simple recipe. You just take the tostada, smear it with um, refried beans, do like crock pot taco chicken on top, all of your toppings and stuff. Plain old spaghetti, good grub I've shared a million times too, but this is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe that is just really simple really fast one if you need a good fast meal just serve it with some broccoli or some green beans and you're good to go lasagna this is a meal that we didn't get to this month and so i already have everything minus the cottage cheese i think which i'm pretty sure i added to my oh yes right there okay so i added that to my list otherwise i have everything that i need Tikka masala, I've shared a million times too. I get the tikka masala sauce from Thrive Market, and then I add a can of coconut milk and just simmer chunks of chicken in it, serve it over rice. Fried rice with grilled chicken. Every time we have extra rice, I just stick it in the freezer, and then I'll gather up those little bags of frozen rice and make fried rice with it. Super easy, and I already have some grilled chicken in the freezer that I can just thaw out and toss in at the end. Homemade mac and cheese with smoked sausage, chicken, shawarma. This is another family favorite, and I can't make it without making homemade naan bread. And then Thai curry noodles. The recipe I have for this is a soup, and I just leave out the chicken broth and make it into like a noodle, um, and everybody really likes it. So here's just some lunch ideas that um, I just want to make sure I have the ingredients for. Same thing with the sides and the snacks. I just want to make sure I have the ingredients for this. We also tried this beer bread this month and holy cow is that good. I cannot make it that often because it has beer and a whole stick of butter in it, but man is that good. Um, I'm sure I spelled this wrong, but chile quiles. This is a favorite of Julia and I's. I always make my sourdough bagels and then this month I'm going to make some homemade waffles and stick them in the freezer. Um, just so that Julia has them when she would like them. Just some dessert ideas. I probably honestly won't make any of these because I have all our Christmas stuff, but I just like to have some ideas in case I need to make something for a get together or a kid needs to bring something somewhere. But that is everything that we have planned.
Like I said, this didn't take me very long. Um, I have a, oh, there's a blanket hanging over the rail right there. Um, I already had a good idea of what I wanted to make and then I just transferred over some of the meals that we didn't get to this month. And I did make sure to spend some time, probably what took me the longest was planning out Christmas and New Year's. I just wanted to make sure that I had all the ingredients for that. And this is just a huge help, especially during the busy holiday season because I can go twice to the grocery store and not have to fight the crowds. And I just, I know exactly what we're going to be eating for the whole month. And it just takes some of that stress off um, during the very busy season. So as always, I will have everything linked that I possibly can. If you would like, if you see a recipe that you would like that I don't have linked, that means it's like on a recipe card or something. And I'm happy to type it out if you would like me to. I just don't do that every time because it's time consuming. <laughs> so um, it already takes quite a long time to link all the recipes. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.